Here pitch side by Hereford manager Paul Caddis. Um, obviously uh, disappointed to be out of the FA Cup, but second half performance you're probably proud of. Yeah, um, I, I, I had a bit of a go at half time. Uh, just thought we lacked a bit of belief, to be honest. I thought we, it wasn't us. Uh, and I just tried to get into them that when we believe in ourselves, like I do in the group, then, then we're a half decent side. And we went and showed that the second half. I thought we'd come out with a bit more of a purpose. We played forward a bit quicker. We played forward with a bit of quality. We got some decent balls in the box without overly overly hurting the goalkeeper or having any brilliant chances. Just thought we showed a bit more endeavour and a bit more a bit more urgency about things. Do you feel there's a little bit too much respect shown to Gilling in the first half? Yeah, possibly. Possibly could have been. Uh, it's difficult when you play against teams that are levels above you, they're full time, we get as I, as everyone knows, we get four hours with the players in. It's difficult to try and gauge where the players are at in terms of getting on the pitch and Sometimes I've been there before, I've been there, you, you need something to go for you, to lift you, to lift you and go, do you know what, we're actually not as far away from them as we actually think, but credit to the players, listen, it was uh, second half I was pleased with. A lot of play, a lot of spectators would probably think Gillingham the fitter of the two sides, but it didn't really prove to be, did it? It didn't until probably after the the mental penalty. Uh, no, I thought, listen, we've, we're a fit group, <laughs> how fit we are, I'm... I'm Incredibly proud of because we only, I say it again, we only get four hours a week. It's, it's unbelievable. We've got players that, that work part, well, work full time, sorry, and this is a part time job. So I'm extremely proud of every single player. You mentioned the mental penalty. Um, what did you make of it then? Uh, it's frustrating, Keith. We've had an apology for the Alfreton, we've had an apology for, for another decision, and now we've just had an apology for the penalty. Obviously, I can't speak to the referee, but Adam Rooney's been in and spoke to him. and I've got it wrong. There's, uh, I'm not going to sit here and criticise, but he's an, an EFL official and we've, we've been let down. Uh, but listen, that's, I'm, I'm not taking anything away from Gillingham. Over the over the course of the game, they probably deserve to win. I believe there were seven yellow cards for Hereford as well, and none for Gillingham. Does that does that stack up correctly? Yeah, watch what I'm saying here, Keith. Here. Uh, yeah, it stacks up, but it's, I don't. I think I don't know why you book Bisk. I think you book Bisk for standing in the box while we were making a substitute. So it was a bit weird, but. Listen, uh, again, just back to the football, I was really, really proud, especially the second half. Proud of everyone that came and got behind the players today because the club deserved us, we deserved that and we, my personal aim now is to try and get more games like this where it's National League North. I've, I spoke earlier in the week, I understand the, the financial difficulties there is in life, I understand the cost of living and I know that the, these supporters can't come every single week so they've got families to feed and I totally get that but the more we get through the turnstile, the more powerful we can become. How convinced will you be that you know they'll see that desire and determination that your team showed in the second half and will come more often? Well, that remains to be seen. I would love that for that to happen, but I don't know people's individual financial status or anything like that. So we've uh, we've just got to keep putting players on the pitch that will keep churning away performances and putting performances on that the club are proud of, the, the, the desire, the attitude, the character, everything we showed in the second half. So we can get more through the gate. Brilliant, but listen, we had 4-2 or 4-3, whatever it was, I don't know what it was today, but it's remarkable numbers for, for a National League North club. You gave Jason Cowley 20 minutes today, so how close is he to starting a match? He's probably still a little bit away, he's had a long time, he's had a long time out. Uh, probably not been an ideal situation, we've got eight games in November, we've, we'd have, ideally we'd have liked to have got more training minutes into him can't happen so we'll keep giving them minutes uh, as we go along but there might come again I've just, just said that we've got eight games in November so there might come a time where he, where he has to start. You still try to stretch during him throughout the game even in the closing stages there so you weren't far away. We weren't we uh, we prodded we, we passed the ball better the second half without massively hurting them I think we put a couple of decent balls across the face of the goal uh, Ethan's had one that he's been slipped in down the side should probably go across the goalie but we're uh, we're pleased. We we're pleased with the the performance of the second half. Disappointed with the result, but over overriding the emotions, proud of the players. You mentioned the emotion of the FA Cup, but it's back to the league now. Games coming thick and fast. Brackley on Tuesday. Are the players going to be re able to recover in time? Yeah, they'll be fine. They'll be absolutely fine. They'll be uh, doing all the right things at the moment. The the, the ice baths and the recovery protocols. So we've uh, I've just said to the players, everyone will be used in the next. Next month, we've got a lot of games coming up Saturday, Tuesday for the next, I don't know how many weeks, but there's a lot of games to be played. Uh, and now it's time to go and, go and take a grip in the league and try and, try and be uh, effective in that. Thanks very much. Thank you. Can I ask you about Bambus?
Uh, tight hamstring. We will need to assess it. To be honest, we don't know if it's tight or torn. So at the moment, we're we're quite unaware of what's going on there.